Hi everyone, welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about as part of the step-by-step -step OpenShift 4.x deployment process, we are into the last stage post implementation procedure. So if we quickly recap in the within our solution architecture, we already validated bootstrap process and master node deployment procedure and worker nodes previous session it was not yet started so now i will show you the status of worker nodes whether it is completed or not okay so and pre-implementation steps we completed and we already discussed about infrastructure platform dns dhcp configuration and downloading the openshift installer procedure and we have prepared reserved the 20 ips for this openshift control platform 4.11 setup and see if you see the implementation procedure earlier we stopped at the creating infrastructure resource level so after that it is showing 20 minutes to wait and total it took the time is 53 minutes to complete the openshift cluster setup but the here we have to make a note the key points are during the implementation it's a destroy the bootstrap resources as we mentioned if you see in our uh, slide here we mentioned bootstrap node is temporary only so that information you can notice from the during the installation it's clearly mentioned destroying the bootstrap resources and it's wait for 40 minutes 10 minutes finally installation is complete and to access the cluster as the system admin user so we there are given some information to access the openshift web console so this is the url and they given the default administrator account is cube admin and password is we can copy the this password to access our openshift web console okay and even in the graphically if you log into vcenter server see pre, there are three master nodes three worker nodes are created and earlier we have only active directory ocp helper vm and vcenter server and even in the recent task if you see here there is a delete virtual machine that is bootstrap vm okay bootstrap only during the cluster setup only it's used for temporarily once the setup is completed it will remove automatically okay and so as part of implementation procedure monitor the openshift cluster install is completed so this step i will quickly log into our lab system and show you so when we connect to our ssh session see this is the screenshot only i took the key point here is destroying the bootstrap resources and installation is completed and we have the web console access the, during the end of the session completion it's given the clear url id and password this information i just copy to the notepad so if you want to access the browser just copy and open the google chrome and try accessing the url so if it is not able to access means we are in the different network of vp and different network so we can try to access this one using a the same network system let's say i'm connecting to the ad system and we'll try to open here Okay, it's open. Browser is opening. Let me try whether internet is working. So we can try to download the Google Chrome. Google Chrome is a bit faster compared to Edge. So we are just downloading the Chrome. So just start the setup.exe.
in the meantime, we'll try to access from this browser. Okay, it started. We can copy this URL. If we are unable to copy, we can just type the URL. Or else we can RDP to the EAD system. EAD system IP is 44. See, now we can able to copy. So continue. See the default administrator is cube admin. And the password we already copied. So just copy the password. And paste it here. See, we are successfully logged into Red Hat OpenShift, and we can see within the console, we can see the cluster API IP address and the cluster ID and the infrastructure provider is vSphere and the OpenShift version is 4.11.20. Okay, and we are using trial edition. This is the remaining 59 days remaining. And the current version is it says that stable 4.11. And the cluster inventory, we have a six nodes. So when you click on six nodes, you can see three master nodes, master zero, master one, master two, and three worker nodes. Six nodes are created. Okay, we have the CPU, memory, and file system information. And again, go to the overview. And we can see the cluster status, control plane, operators, and all. And here, one key thing is within the data Red Hat OpenShift console, we have a administrator view as well as developer view. Suppose when I select the developer view, we can switch to the developer view as well. So developer view, we can see the topology, we can observe and we can do the development of applications and all using the developer view. And administration portal have a more onto the administration, like we can create the users for even if you want to provide a multi tenanting, we can create multiple users and groups and we can provide the permissions. And under compute, we can see the nodes. And even in future, if you plan to extend our worker nodes, increase or scale up our worker nodes, we can scale up using the mission sets. Okay. And see there is a machine auto scalers also we can configure and another key point sir operator hubs this operator hub we have a default freely configured pre-configured applications are 451 items are available so we can install anytime for example if you want to install a cast in let's select cast in is like a number one enterprise grade kubernetes backup tool so we have a cast in one is a deprecated one that means old version and there is an enterprise pay as you go model like a subscription based license and we have enterprise term this is also a licensed one and we have a free edition so depends on our customer requirement we can configure cast in it will help you to take your container applications backup and also the recovery as well as disaster recovery purposes. Suppose if you want to install, we can install in two methods. First method is we can configure in graphical method using web console. And second method is we can configure also using command line interface. So let's show you how we can install in the graphical method. Select the cast in, click on install. And you can choose the installer operator and click on install so that it will install it quickly. Okay and let me click on install so that installation is in progress once this is installed you can go to the below installed operators currently no operators found after some time we can see cast in installation status here okay so operator hub 
four fifty one items are available. Even developers team also can develop the customized applications as well. All the cloud native applications. Let me refresh the page, and we can see operators installed operators. Still, it's taking some time to install the application. And like this, even if you want to install any other applications also, we can configure. So installed operator, we can just choose all projects. Yeah, cast in status is showing as installing state. So it may take a while to complete the installation process. In the meantime, I will just show you the how we can access the command line process. So if you see here, cube admin, and there is a command to copy login command. When you click on login command, just select a display token. There is a command to access from command line access. So just copy this token, control C, and we can log into our SSH session to the our OCP helper VM, and we can type this IP this command and we can use a secure connected yes and now we can see oc get nodes see all our nodes we can we're accessing through command line also okay open shift container see we have three master node three worker nodes okay so let's back to our slide see we already monitor until the installation status completed i shown you installation complete status. So that's why I keep it as a green tick. Now, post implementation procedure. So a standard operating OpenShift container platform installation creates the following vCenter resources. So we'll just verify this resources are created or not. One folder, one tag category, one tag, and virtual machine, one template, and a temporary bootstrap node, it's already removed, and three control plane node, three compute machines. Compute machines means worker nodes. Control plane node means master nodes. So let's log into our system and open the vCenter server console and go to the VMs and templates tab and select there is a folder is created and we have a tag category and tag is created and three master nodes, three worker nodes and we also have one template, template also created. This template version is showing as Red Hat Enterprise Linux version. Okay, so this option also we validated. And another post implementation steps are access the OpenShift web console. We already accessed and the production cluster ready. Even our cluster is ready for the production and the day to install operations means we can perform our day to operations like uh, managing the applications, running the container applications on our OpenShift platform. Okay, and administrative cluster lifecycle update and upgrades and production workloads and finally scale out the worker nodes so we can do the scale out worker nodes using the machine sets option not only limited to these five post implementation steps and so on there are so many post implementation talks so installing the containering applications cloud native applications on openshift platform and all i will cover in the later sessions okay so this portion is completed and even cluster ready be validated and data will be like a continuous works and scale out also we can configure using mainly for the machine sets and if you notice the step by step open ship deployment process what we did until now is see first initially install config ml file it's initiated the open shift install and it uses the image services red hat core operating system this is only ignition for the bootstrap node and build the bootstrap cluster so it's build a master node three nodes at the initial stage and then build the production cluster on masters and remove the bootstrap node and cluster and add the worker nodes three worker nodes and so this process are infra resources are created bootstrap cluster life cycle and production cluster created so these all the steps we verified and as part of the once cluster is available these all the consider as a 
day to operations or we call it as post implementation steps so this is not a one day job it's a continuous process so production cluster is ready we can do the day to install operations and administrative cluster life cycle user workloads scale out workloads and production workloads okay hope you understand the complete workflow end to end when we start the install and complete the post implementation steps okay so these steps also validated even if you want to explore once the cluster is completed you can just log in and explore each and every tab that is only the open shift administration okay see if you see the cast in now the status is installed succeeded state okay as simple as that we can install operator hub even you can choose whatever necessary application you want to install you can just search and install those specific applications okay so that's it hope you understand the complete open shift step by step deployment procedure including the pre implementation steps implementation procedure and post implementation steps okay so that's it for now thank you if you're watching this video first time please do view like share and subscribe to the ignan cloud garage channel if you're already subscribed i appreciate all your support bye for now